Okay, this is going to be a video on how to connect your FTDX2000, excuse me, FTDX3000 Yaesu radio from the RX port, not the IF port, but from the I, 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 RX port to SDR Uno and make SDR Uno track with the radio and make the radio track frequency with SDR Uno. I had a, a long trial trying to get this to work and Mike Ladd helped me out and uh, uh, he stuck with me uh, for uh, hours trying to get me to uh, uh, make this work and I finally got it. And this video is hopefully to help others with the same setup to be able to connect the software to their radio and make the radio track and the software track together frequency wise. So the first thing you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go into Google and you're going to want to get a program called uh, OmniRig. So just type in OmniRig O-M-N-I-R-I-G and the first thing that comes up will be the OmniRig web page and scroll down from the top to where it says downloads and then right down here under tools you'll see Omni Rig client so that's what we want click on that and it will download the client and it will be in your downloads folder most probably now this is a really fast install. It takes about uh, four seconds to install. All you got to do is click on it and it will install it. There's no prompts to follow, no directions, no nothing, and uh, it'll be installed on your computer. So the next thing you do is uh, you go to the installed program. It will be in your uh, apps and uh, just go down to, uh, it'll say new on there if you're on Windows 10 or 7, uh, but uh, it, it'll be under O for OmniRig. And let's see here. I'm gonna, uh, send the, so here it is right here, OmniRig. And we'll click on the application. And it'll bring up this little screen. This is all that OmniRig is, it's just this little screen. And the first thing you'll want to do is just simply select rig number one and select your make and model of radio. Mine is the Yaesu FTDX3000. Uh, you'll want to select the COM port that your FTDX3000 or your whatever radio you have is uh, associated with. Uh, and the baud rate that your radio is talking with, uh, that will be set in your radio. Uh, then data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, RTS high, DTR high, uh, this one, the second one is 100, and uh, timeout is 100. And uh, just click OK on that, and that will start it running, and it will uh, run every time you bring up the, uh, uh, every time you boot up your computer, uh, OmniRig will be running. So, the next thing that you want to do is to... Uh, if, if you're unsure of the port uh, that your radio is, is uh, using, uh, go in to de Device Manager. And once you're in Device Manager, click on Ports. And that will show you what ports are active. And if you have your radio connected already to your computer, via a USB cable then it will be there. I have four ports that are active and if you don't know which port your uh, your radio is attached to your computer in uh, just try all of them. I've got four of them that are working here. I've got uh, COM3, COM5, COM10 and COM8 working uh, and if you're not sure try try all of them. You, in OmniRig you've got over 20 ports available, uh, but uh, you'll be able to narrow it down by the ports that you have here in, in uh, Device Manager. So you've got four chances to get it right, and you'll, uh, one of them will be right. Uh, if you have uh, 
five ports active, then you'll have five choices. If you've got two, you'll have two. So basically that's it. So once you've got OmniRig configured, then uh, the next thing you do is uh, simply go into uh, uh, SDR Uno. And I'm assuming at this point that you've already installed SDR Uno and you can't make it work. Uh, and you're familiar with uh, the program. And I'm assuming that you've made it work with an antenna, an external antenna. And uh, uh, this is not a tutorial on how to work SDR Uno. This is basically a tutorial on how to connect your radio to the software so that your radio frequency tracks with the software and the software tracks with your radio. So, the next thing you need to do is go up to the main frequency window here and go to select. Okay, uh, and the next thing we want to do, and this is something I want to talk about because this gave me uh, a lot of trouble, uh, the cat tab. Uh, typically with other programs that I've uh, attached my radio to it's been a cat control and I assume that cat control was going to uh, do this program also. Well that's not the case. Uh, you don't want to do anything in the cat tab. Just leave it blank. Don't do anything there and go over to the next tab over which says ORIG. Now I kind of thought that was something like original or something but it stands for OmniRig. So all you do there is click on or highlight Rig 1, the left, uh, the left rig selection, and then click three boxes. Click the top box, the second box, leave the third box blank, and check the fourth box. And that is it. That's all you got to do there. You're almost home. You're really close to being home. Okay, get out of here. And the last thing you need to do is right up here, there is a tab called RSYN1. Make sure that is clicked so that it shows orange. Uh, if it's white, then it's not active. So make sure that you click on that so that it is orange. Okay, that's all you need to do. Now you are ready to hook up uh, the FTDX3000 or whatever radio you chose in OmniRig to SDR Uno. So you hit the play button and you're off and running. Okay, so I'll turn this down a little bit. Now if I'm to go over here and if I'm to turn my radio's VFO knob, well, I gotta turn my radio on first. Okay, I'm turning my radio's VFO knob and you see the frequency is changing. It just goes that, cl that, that close. It's really cool. That's all it takes to hook Omni rig up to your radio. And then if I were to go over here and, and uh, change the frequency here, it's changing the frequency on my radio. Just like that. I'll mute that. So there you go. That's as simple as it can be. I had a terrible time trying to figure this out and it took me hours if not days and uh, Mike Ladd was uh, uh, good enough to spend a couple of hours with me and try, trying to get me to understand how this works. And my big problem was I couldn't wrap my head around the fact that in this tab over here, cat, I just couldn't get it out of my head that cat control was not cat control. Cat control was not c controlling my rig. It was actually uh, Omni rig, and I hadn't even installed Omni rig. I just kept trying to make it work via cat control. Don't use cat control. Don't even look at that tab. Just go get Omni rig, get it configured, and get it running, and then just simply go into O R I G or Omni rig, O rig. Check the first box, the second box, and the last box, and make sure that. RSYN1 
is highlighted orange and you're off and running. Just, uh, just that simple. So there you go. Kudos to Mike Ladd for uh, helping everybody out on OmniRig. He's a great guy. I uh, hope that I'm not giving him too much praise so that he won't get inundated with a ton of uh, requests and his cup runneth over. I hope that won't be the case. But uh, he's a great guy and he, uh, he did a great job for me uh, getting me going. So 73s, enjoy your, uh, enjoy your Omni Rig and uh, I hope you're able to hook it up to your radio without any trouble.